Hi everyone and thank you for downloading Password State. In this video I'll show you how to perform an install and launch it for the first time. In order to install Password State you will need to have the following system requirements. A Windows based operating system with .NET Framework 4.5 and PowerShell 3 or above. A Microsoft SQL Server 2008 Express database or above. A dual core 1.6 GHz processor or higher a minimum of 2 GB of RAM and a minimum of 200 MB of disk space. In this video I'll be installing Password State on a Microsoft Server 2012 R2 machine which has a Microsoft SQL Server 2014 Express database. The first thing we need to do is run the passwordstate.exe file which will launch the installation process. If you don't have the source files yet, please visit the download section of the clickstudios.com.au website. We will now click next and accept the license agreement and leave the default path as C drive inetpub password state. We now have the option of Active Directory or forms based integration. You would select Active Directory if you want your users to be able to use their domain credentials, otherwise please choose the forms-based integration. The password state installer creates a default URL for your password state website and it automatically assigns a certificate to it. If you'd like to change this URL here, you'll also need to create a matching DNS entry. I'll leave mine as the suggested URL with the default port of 9119. If we click next, it will then go ahead and begin installing password state. And in this process, it's now starting to install all the files on the file system, along with creating the website and setting all the permissions. We can now click Finish to finalise the installation. And please take note of the exact URL on the screen at the moment, which you will need to access Password State for the first time. For Stage 2 of the setup process, We'll need to run through a once-off configuration process which will set up some core details for your password state environment. I've now switched back to my desktop and I've launched the Chrome web browser. If I enter in my password state URL, you'll notice that the browser is warning you that the connection is not private. This is because it is a non-trusted self-signed certificate. To remove this warning permanently, you can either use Internet Explorer and add the SSL certificate to the certificate store to say that it's trusted, or you can purchase your own trusted SSL certificate and assign it to the site's bindings in IIS. If we now click begin, we're going to let the setup process create a database for us. We'll need to supply a database server name, the SQL server instance name if applicable, and an account that has permissions on the database server to create databases. This account that you specify here is never used again and is not recorded anywhere in password state. It's only ever used once in the initial setup process to create the database. Alternatively, you can create your own blank database manually and independently of password state and then use the connect to blank database tab to establish a connection. Now if you click next, the installer will create a database and insert all of the tables. Once this is complete, it will automatically progress to the next screen. On the system settings screen, you'll need to set yourself an emergency access password and you also have the option to configure your email server settings, uh, proxy server settings if you have one, and FIPS encryption support. Um, the use of FIPS encryption is quite uncommon, but if you're a US-based company, you may need to specify this as your install. Next, you'll need to enter in your registration details, which would have been emailed to you when you downloaded password state. Please be careful not to copy any extra spaces on the end of your registration keys to avoid any errors. Now on the Active Directory screen, you'll need to confirm that your domain settings are correct and add in a domain account that Password State will use to query Active Directory. We can then test this password that you entered by clicking the Verify button and then click Next to continue. Next we'll create our first account in password state which will also be assigned all security administrator roles. 
you'll use this account later to begin adding users into your system and configuring your settings as required. Before we launch Password State, we will need to export some encryption keys to a password protected zip file. These keys can be used at a later date to restore your system in the event of a disaster. As long as you are backing up your password state folder and database, you are not required to keep this exported file. Now clicking the Start Password State button will get us into the program for the first time. A number of manuals can be found under our Help menu which will assist you in administering Password State. Also provided is a guided tour which will be presented to you when you log in the first time. More resources can be found at clickstudios.com.au or if you need any more direct help from our support staff, please contact us on support at clickstudios.com.au. Thanks very much for watching.